Hi, I'm Joe White. Welcome to Ashland Community Theater Show Behind the Curtain. My co-host, Katie Shander Reynolds. Excellent. What are we doing here today, Katie? Uh, well, we have a bunch of things we wanted to talk about today, Joe, if you remember. I do remember. Okay, let me remind you in case you don't. We wanted to talk about our fall show. Excellent. Yes, we have a fall show coming up very soon called Therapy Sessions. Excellent. And we hope our viewing public will be there to see it. And when is it? It is coming up November 19th, 20th, and 21st. At the Ashland Middle School Theater, correct? Indeed. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have finally cast this show, and we start rehearsals uh, this Saturday. Yes. And we'll be working very hard over the next couple of months to do that show. We will. And what's the show about? So the show is something that we wrote. It's sort of our first real play. It is. Yeah, it's like a whole play show. So we're still doing like six different scenes. Yes, it's a play in six scenes. That's exactly what it is, John. Yeah. We have the <laughs> we also have the characters that are threaded through. Uh huh. All the way through. That's right. And uh, it's about four therapists. It is indeed and four therapists. Interesting ways that they conduct business. Yes, out yeah. of their home. Out of their mm -hmm. home, and uh, some interesting characters. There are, but we don't want to give anything away because we no. want people to actually come to the show. Absolutely. Thursday, Friday, Saturday night before yeah. Thanksgiving week. And it's a comedy. It is. Well, we hope, we hope that people so. will think it's yeah. funny. Yes. Excellent. We had a good time writing it. Yeah, I, we I, laughed a lot. I had a blast so. writing it. Okay. So. so we wanted to talk about that. Mm -hmm. And then we also wanted to talk about something else that's coming up in November. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. What is that? I mm -hmm. think there might be something that people can buy for the holidays. There is indeed a gift from ACT for the holidays. Yes. 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 And uh, I think it's the show that we did over the summer called The Interns. I hope it is because that's what we were planning on. Yeah. And it'll be on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. And you can go on and purchase it. And you, can, you have different options. You can stream it. You can buy the DVD. Mm -hmm. uh, you can download it. And 50% uh, of the profits go to ACT and WACA-TV. Uh, to help support the work that they are, are continuing to doing. Yes, so. very exciting, good. Lots yeah. of options, yep. lots of choices. Yep. Everybody will be happy at the holidays. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, and today, what are we doing today? Today, we are going to be visiting with some of our favorite <coughs> actors who participated in a scene with us wait, last fall. Wait, wait, what? let me think. What? What scene, think. What scene could oh, yeah. it be? Okay, let's see if wait, it comes Wait, let me think about down. it. Wait, I could see it. There's a bald head. Oh, no, no, that's a crystal ball. It's the seance. It is indeed. That's right. The, the seance. And you wrote that. I did write that. I, I did. I to ask you questions. A long time ago, it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're going to see that scene in a we're few minutes. We're going to watch the scene, and then we are going to sit down with um, most of the actors from the scene. Unfortunately, one of our friends couldn't be here today. Oh, who couldn't make it? I believe it is Julie Nardone, oh, okay. who wasn't able to be here today. But we will have Mauro Ciccarelli. Yeah. Jody Martin. Uh-huh. And Adish Joshi. And Heidi Hansen. At all here. All They're all here. here. Waiting with bated breath. Yes. So yeah. let's watch the scene and sit. then we'll talk to the actors. Yeah. Sit back, relax, and enjoy it. Wait, wait. Don't worry, she's not going to start without you. I'm sure she could tell how important this was to you. We're expecting two more visitors. <laughs> I sense they'll be here any minute. <laughs> While we're waiting, you a question? Why, yes. What are you? I am a medium. Ah, are you happy? Yes, I am. What did you do that for? I always wanted to strike a happy medium. <laughs> No. 
He says yes. <laughs> Howard, I want to ask you a very, very important question. Ask me anything, sweetie. Oh, he used to call me sweetie. I miss you, Howard. Howard, where did you put the spare set of house keys? <laughs>
you know, you know what? I knew you were a fraud. I knew it. I knew it all along. You contacted the wrong person. You contacted my mother. <laughs> wow. I really can't do this. <laughs> yeah, well, you better figure out how to do it again. Because you need to contact my old partner and find out where he hit the cat before the cops got. Whoa, dude, wait. You know what? If you want me to contact the beyond, my rates are going to triple. You know, now that Melissa dumped me, I'm done with this reform crap. I'm going to go down, hit up a couple of those collection plates. You know, come to think of it, there are a lot of gullible people down there. I could send them your way. What do you say? You give me a cut? How about 10%? Sounds like you got a deal. Hi, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed the scene called The Seance, which was performed last November in our play called Dame Airs on Oak Street. The actual scene was written by our co-host here, Katie Shander Reynolds. Thank Very you. well done. Thank you. Excellent piece Thank of work. You. It was great seeing it again. It was. Who do we have here today? We have Mauro Ciccarelli with us today, and Heidi Hansen, and Jody Martin, and Adish Joshi. And uh, Julie Nardone, who's also in the scene, couldn't be here today, sends her regrets. The spirits are here! <laughs> We just can't forget them. I'm no, sorry. we can't. Are they here? What are they saying about the scene? Aunt Lydia? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, they were saying it was uh, a lot of fun. Was it? Yes, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So my, my question, my first question is, is, how did you come up with this concept, the idea of, uh, of the seance? Um, well, uh, as I recall, you had come up with the theme for the fall show. You wanted it to be sort of Halloween-y, spooky, mm -hmm. and we were just talking about what kinds of things we could write about, and I don't remember who in the group came up with the idea of a seance, and I, it started me thinking about that whole supernatural um, aspect of things, and I'm pretty skeptical about all of that. And you know, you listen to the radio in the car, and you hear those those supposed um, I forget what even what do they even call themselves mediums I mediums, guess yeah. who you or can call in and they yeah. will reach out to your beloved from the beyond and and like get Shyster. messages for you. Well, so that's always been my yeah. my text? personal opinion, but I know some people really put a lot of yeah. store in, yeah. into those things. So <clears throat> I didn't want to write something that would be disrespectful of the spirits, just in case they're out there. But I just started <laughs> thinking about, wouldn't it be funny if somebody <coughs> was performing this service and knew that they were basically ripping people off and then one day actually had a spirit contact them <laughs> and what would that look like mm -hmm. and then I started thinking about well who would be there and I thought it would be amusing if it were the you know the person who was most cynical about the whole process that actually was contacted from the beyond so that's how it all started that was a great scene it was lovely watching that scene again one more time so guys what did you uh, think watching it again for the I haven't seen it in a while. I can't believe I barked and like a dog. <laughs> that was the best part. That was the best that part. The spirits the part. moved you that way, though, Heidi. I don't know. <laughs> Adi should be over here petting you. Right. <laughs> I'm happy. You're long lost. Look at this. Aw, where's the ever, love? Did you ever get a new dog? Huh? Did you ever get a new dog? No, I did not. Oh. I'm actually more of a cat person now. Did you get a new cat? <laughs> no, oh, his cat hasn't gotten run over yet. Oh, oh. <laughs> we wouldn't want that. That was too bad. So, Moro. Yes. Are you still skeptical about her powers now? No, no, I, I totally believe in all of her powers. <laughs> she's, just, she's amazing. It's just, so. what are those powers? <laughs> yeah, well, I think we'll figure them out sooner or later. But I, I don't know. I've always been a little skeptical about all that stuff. And I think, uh, I know originally, I think you cast me as a crystal ball, but. <laughs> You know, I, I think as the roles developed, I was able to kind of move out of that role and to get something a little more meaty. Well, the crystal ball came in and beat you out on that one. Yeah. We didn't want to save it. I think there was at least one performance of the scene where that, uh, that Heidi did rub your head, though. She did. Yeah. She did. Yeah. yeah. It added a lot to the scene, I thought. It did. Yeah. It did. Took years off my life, but I think... Uh, <laughs> so, Jody, being with this wonderful man and having him leave you at, 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 the, uh, at the seance, how did that feel? Like, he... Well, actually, you left Did him. you not watch the show? No, I don't, watch, I don't, I don't know anything about the, the episode. I didn't write it. I didn't care. I believe I left him because I found out what it 
what a hoodlum he was. He, what did he do? He stole one car? He and stole a car, ripped off the elderly. The, 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 uh, he stole from, from, from the collection, collection plate. plate. Exactly. Oh my goodness. For goodness I, sake. I think the correct term is dirtbag. Right? Dirt bag? Is that the correct Pretty much a dirt bag. Yeah. 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 I, I yeah. felt bad for you. I have spent way too much time with losers in my life. You know, I don't need to add to that list. Dump him. So I had right to dump away. him. Dump him right away. Good he didn't seem too brokenhearted about it. He didn't. He really no, he didn't. He right got into, over it pretty quickly. He got a deal with the Sands. He did. Deal. I did. I know. Yeah. Made a lot of money that night. It was quite good, right? Yeah. Very lucrative. Very. So Adish. Yeah. That, was that your first scene that you did with us in ACT and Daymares, or were you? Um, I don't know. Like, it depends. It, like, it was my first show, yes. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I don't know about the chronological order. It mm -hmm. could have been the other one where I was the one-eyed Cyclops. Yeah, that was earlier in the show. I yeah. believe that. You were yeah. the Cyclops. So, yeah. yeah, you were the, the prescription. Was, it was definitely my first Cyclops, show, yeah. and it was great. So. Mm -hmm. so. How do you like being on stage? Um, I love it, actually. The only thing I regret about it is I can't watch the theater live, you know? And then I have to watch it once I go home. So. Well, you mean you can't be in the play and watch it at yeah, the same time? Yeah, yeah. Like, that is problematic. When, when I first got introduced <laughs> to this whole stage stuff, I, I was watching school plays, and it was great. But once I went up there, I kind of realized I can't watch them, too. Mm -hmm. So, now so you, which yeah. do you prefer, though? Stage one, of course. Yeah. Of course. Why? <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess I like going on stage and ranting about random stuff. <laughs> like Mr. Joe White. You know? Hearing the applause. <laughs> the flowers. I love, I, love he, I love when he says Mr. Joe White. Can you say it one more time? Mr. Joe White. <clears throat> I love it. Yeah. So Heidi, I was hoping you could share with us a little bit about how you determined like what mannerisms you were going to put on your character. Because you did some amazing things up on stage that were really fun to watch. And I was wondering, like, how did you decide what you were going to do? Outside of the script, you really you added a lot to the character. It, it wasn't me. It was the spirits. <laughs> <laughs> and what did they tell you to do? No, no honestly, I think um, a lot of them, I think I might have started to think about some of them in advance, but I think some of the things that really stand out to me, like the barking and the panting and some of that stuff, really just happened in the moment through more of co considering rehearsal like improv a mm -hmm. little bit and um, reacting to the other characters and work, you know, and, um, and, Playing with them is, I think, how some of it came up. And uh, yeah. And what about that moment when, when your character, the, the medium, gets taken over by the actual spirit of the boyfriend's mother? Because that, that was an incredible transformation, watching you do that on stage. So to be quite honest, I don't, I think what it was is I, I might have seen something on TV <laughs> that made, that, that said, made me think about how might I do that and then I just played with it from there and then what was I really went for it right I really just I just didn't hold back and mm -hmm. and um right mm -hmm. on that oh, coughing that first right. time I think we were all like oh my gosh is she okay <laughs> exactly. and then you did it every time and that was amazing <laughs> it was really like, yeah. I knew what I was doing but I knew that it was just but but yes right so I just yeah. went for it and you gotta like make it visceral and real and I figured in order to make the audience really think that this happened, which, you know, I don't know if they really did, did. but mm -hmm. uh, anyway. I thought it did. <laughs> I think so. I was um, worried. I knew I had to go there. So it was great. What... So Maura, as an actor being on stage and watching that transformation of the character and being up there, being in the audience, you see it differently. How does it feel being on, on the stage watching the other actors perform that? I mean, you, you go through rehearsal, so you kind of have a you know, feel of what's going on, but, you know, when Heidi would do a couple of things, it, you know, it's, it's exciting and kind of invigorating because, you know, you're not really sure where she may go next, and it, it's fun to just kind of, you know, hold on to her coattails and go for the ride. <laughs> it's one of those scenes that you could, you would love to watch any other time. I'd love to get you guys back up and to kind of do it again. One of the things we've done in the past was redo the scene in the studio. We just didn't have enough time with your crazy schedules to like redo. We did Grey Matter here the last time. It was kind of fun reenacting it to see what you'd bring differently to the characters. So what, Jody, what would you bring differently to the character this time that maybe you didn't bring a year ago? Would it be something different that, that you try to get in or something you wanted to do? Or would you pretty much play it the same? I would probably have played it fairly similarly. I would have made different wardrobe choices, for sure. Why do you say <laughs> that? Yeah. 
<clears throat> oh, after watching it, I did not like the sweater I was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I did not like the look. It, it yeah. <laughs> it's hard sometimes watching yourself, isn't it? After yeah. after the fact, it, it doesn't look the way you feel. You felt like you looked. Felt at like the I time. looked. Yeah, yeah, I thought I looked. Yeah, no. Anyway, remember yes. the camera ads? Oh, wow, that's, that's it, like fifty. Yeah, that's where I'm going with that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I think <clears throat> I, I enjoyed. It. I probably would have been a little bit more naive. Mm. I feel like I was a little bit, but I could have, my whole thing is, my whole character was trying to, you know, she really believed in this and really needed to contact, you know, mm -hmm. the beyond. And I feel like I would have been a lot more naive and a lot more naive in the fact of how I reacted to some of the things I found out about him, uh, yeah. you know, and like, what, what? <laughs> I thought you did a Maybe great job of that, though, that moment. Like, you could see it on your face, yeah. that moment when you realized, <clears throat> wait a minute. And I loved how, you, like, you, as playing that character, it seemed so natural. Like, you just sort of all of a sudden <laughs> realized, oh, that's his mother. And I'm totally taking his mother's side. <laughs> yes. Oh, I play a dumb blonde very well. <laughs> Anybody who's ever gone to karaoke has seen me like that. <laughs> so true. We'll talk about that on another episode. Yes. <laughs> Called karaoke seance. Yeah, we like that one. <laughs> I like that idea. Next year. Yeah, you contact people from <laughs> the dead to the be variety. part of the thing. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, the dead singers. There's got to be a few out there. <laughs> so, Adish, I have a question for you. Yeah. <clears throat> you were the youngest character in the scene, mm -hmm. and as I was writing it, I was thinking, would a teenager really go to a seance? And I wrote it anyway because I, I wanted to have that character in there. But how many of your friends have gone to a seance? Actually, we, we've never brought that up at a lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's really? school work for tonight. I'm shocked. Yeah. Bring that in tomorrow. Give us the answer and we'll put it back into yeah. the episode. Yeah. What about a Ouija board? Like, do people board. still do that? Kids uh, play with Ouija boards. Ouija board, I mean, same thing. We, we don't talk about that kind of stuff, no. especially when we're trying to eat stuff. Like, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Not so appetizing? No, yeah. No. I'm a vegetarian, so it's okay with me. But my friends are eating past lives and oh, into chickens I see. and all I that. See what so you're well. you don't want your dinner contacting you from yeah, the beyond. Yeah, yeah. I could, that's yeah. a good point. It's a very good point. I want your chicken yelling at you. Why don't you eat me? No. And then you ate my baby. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh. It's <laughs> dark. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Thanks this is the kind of eggs. stuff that goes on. <laughs> In rehearsals, so so you guys, you guys all set over there. You're good. You're good. So Heidi, you're right. You're good. No. Just want to check. <laughs> it's, it's, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for writing the great scene. Oh, my pleasure. And uh, wonderful actors here performing it and being here today. Moro, Heidi, Jody, and Adish. Thank you. Thanks, guys. And we'll be here thank next you. month on Behind the Curtain with. Another one of uh, Katie Shander Reynolds' masterpieces. Oh, how exciting. Which one? It's uh, Speed Dating is Scary. Ooh. And we're going to have uh, all of the speed dating people hopefully come in costume for Ooh, that one yeah. for our Halloween show. That was fantastic. fantastic. That was Thank fantastic. you so much. And don't forget, therapy sessions, November 19th, 20th, and 21st at the Ashland Middle School. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about the holiday gifts? Oh, let's buy them. Buy lots of them. About what? Oh, the interns. Yes. 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 M multiple options yes. for purchasing the interns yes. coming up in November on Amazon Prime. You got it. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Katie. Another Thank wonderful you. show. Indeed.